practice here at Pocono Raceway, and uh, we're following Daniel Voilis, who has put in the fourth fastest time, uh, about three tenths behind the goat. Uh, he's also behind Steve Morgan and Christian Bracken there. Oh, that's him taking an Alberto Franco out. Oh dear, that's uh, not good news for the uh, driver of the 2002 uh, number 66 Kmart Blue Light Special Ford Taurus, um, which is a bit a anachronistic here. But uh, I wonder if anybody noticed that the uh, the uh, that Mathis Wells number 20 is actually the 2004 version um, because the link for the high resolution version of the 2003 car from uh, Team SBR doesn't seem to be working so yeah it's the 2004 car right there whatever anyways uh, that, that thing with Adalberto Franco there was uh, probably the most interesting thing to happen in practice here at the Tricky Triangle Wow. Hello everyone, I'd like to give you a very warm welcome to Pocono Raceway in Long Pond, Pennsylvania for the Pocono 500. 50 laps around the 2.5 mile long tricky triangle as it's called. Um, definitely one of my favorite tracks, but definitely not uh, an easy one for me. Um, uh, let me let me let you in on a little bit of a spoiler here. Uh, I sort of found a groove for taking turn 3. It involves downshifting to third gear uh, as I'm braking for the turn. Uh, long story short, at some point during this race, third gear breaks on me. Um, so that may or may not affect my chances of winning this race. Who knows? I'll just leave you with that thought. Uh, obviously, I have to. Uh, I had to learn how to drive using fourth gear, which I think is much slower. But who knows? Uh, but anyways, let's just get straight to it. Your running order here: Gil Samaya starts on pole today alongside Chris Harvey. We got Steve Morgan and Simon Ozkan in the second row. Daniel Voila starts alongside the GOAT. Reggie Fogelman and Patrick Smith make up the fourth row. And Joey Trickle and Christian Bracken start ninth and tenth today. We got we got Eli Wolf, Colin Cropley, Mac, Max Davis, Mo Zane, Riley Spurley, Asha Shadavald, Annie Thomas, Brittany White, Eric Monaco, Anthony Charbois, Stasio PK, uh, Mathis Wells. Okay, can't really see the cars, so that'll do. Did I say Matthew Burnett's name already? I think so. Reagan Whitlock, Bob and Flobo, Rocky Johnson, Ari Utaiki, Amy Hicks, Adalberto Franco, Montero Salon, Dylan Ebrahimian, Harry Langestine, Sabrina Futlego, Jana Fogelman, Lucas Evans, Joe Allen, Leroy Jenkins, Agata Santa, and rounding out the field as usual. Alongside Lyle Austin is Gerald Pepper, whose car is clearly at a lower resolution because it's one of the one of the default cars from the game, obviously. So uh yeah. We'll just speed through the pace lap here. The uh, formation lap, more specifically. Uh, again, really do enjoy this track. Of course, the uh, rather famous story about NASCAR racing 2003 season in Pocono is that in 2006, when Denny Hamlin was a rookie in the Cup Series, uh, to prepare for the race at Pocono, he uh, drove the track in this game, and uh, he ended up winning that race. 
Not an easy feat for a rookie here, but uh, I'll have to say there's lots of rookies in this field technically. Uh, two of them leading the field to the green flag. The GOAT immediately stepping out. It's a bit quiet, isn't it? I need to turn up my volume here. The GOAT immediately trying to step out, making a three wide of Summit Uskan and his fellow GM Goodren Chevy driver uh, Steve Morgan. I think a bit of contact there, nearly getting spun off the uh, left front of uh, Morgan's car there, but the GOAT has managed to make the move stick. No problem at all. Riding alongside Daniel Voilis here, Gil Samaya attempting to break away from Chris Harvey here. They're neck and neck through the tunnel turn. Oh, that's the GOAT power sliding through that turn there. That's definitely not going to improve his chances here. In fact, I think he's lost uh, a myriad of positions. Moving to the outside to block off fellow GM Goodrun Chevy driver Steve Morgan. Uh, hopefully these two will have, have sorted out their differences at this point. Um, if, if, of course, either is diplomatic enough. So more importantly here, Gil Samaya has managed to uh, comfortably take the lead from Chris Harvey, who runs second. Daniel Voiles alongside Summit Uzkan for third. Patrick Smith in the mix for fifth. Joey Trickle runs sixth to GOAT, managing to get past Eli Wolf through turn one here. And you can see he's in gear three right now. Fix it up, it's gear four. With Steve Morgan here, also trying to move, make a move on Eli Wolf. Things much more bunched up in the back of the pack here, as usual. He's mostly single filing out here. The GOAT has able to, has been able to get past Samit Uskan. That's good news there. Here comes Joey Trickle. It's a domination between Chevy and Ford at the front of the field today. It's definitely going to be the battle of the two giants. Of course, the GOAT is in the mix. Who knows uh, what he'll do for uh, the Chevy Monte Carlo's chances today. You can see Chris Harvey here running on the inside. Attempting to take the lead. Goats managed to make the move stick on Joey Trickle. It's probably going to be coming back at him real quickly here. Samaya once again able to step out in front of Chris Harvey. Harvey no doubt will definitely have many more opportunities over the coming laps. To go for the overtake, here he goes once again through the tunnel turn. I believe that's the name of turn two. Should be. Once again running neck and neck. He has the inside. Nose in front through turn three. Daniel Voiles, Patrick Smith falling closely behind on the inside line. And that's the GOAT running wide through turn three there. Again, Joey Trickle very likely to get back at him, but more importantly, Chris Harvey has managed to take the lead of this race. And now Gil Samaya is in danger of losing second place to Daniel Voiles as well. Patrick Smith, of course, giving him a bit of a bump draft. He's going to make it three wide, heading into turn one. Not quite, but oh, there it is. Patrick Smith inserting himself into the melee. I think there was a little bit of contact there with Daniel Voiles' car, but both have managed to get, get themselves in front of Gil Samaya. Not good news for the uh, Jasper Motorsports car here. The GOAT having to fend off another, along with, of course, fellow GM Goodred Chevy driver Steve Morgan. Those are your top seven. Eli Wolf currently runs eighth. Colin Cropley up in ninth, looking for another top ten today. Summit Ozkan rounds out your top ten. Take a look at the uh, positions in the right corner here. Right on board the GOAT here. Patrick Smith uh, falling into fourth behind Gil Samaya, despite having managed to get past him through turn one just one lap ago. Over the turn one once again for the top five. Of course, Gerald Pepper currently runs last here. Your order once again. Harvey leads the race. Royals run second. Samaya third, Smith fourth, and the GOAT fifth. Steve Morgan has been able to overtake Joey Trickle for sixth position here. Eli Wolf runs eighth, Colin Cropley ninth. So only one non-Chevy or Ford in the top ten. Summit Uskan, and he's at the bottom of the top ten. And he has Reggie Fogelman, who uh, showed a lot of pace in the previous race, behind him. Keeping him on the pressure, keeping him honest. But yeah, so far Chevy having the better of this fight between... Uh, Certainly perennial rivals Ford in the Pocono 500 thus far. Chris Harvey with a semi-comfortable lead. Daniel Voiles is going to keep him honest. Gil Samaya is going to try his damnedest to get back into the lead. He started on pole. He wants another race win. Patrick Smith also there. Another race winner. But of course there's, there's the GOAT too. And uh, 
Well, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm certain he'll only cause problems for this uh, top five if he ever catches up to them. I think he's uh, struggling to do so right now. Thank you. Take a look at your lap times here. It seems that Patrick Smith has the fastest with a 55.001. Then uh, Steve Morgan, Gil Samaya, uh, Daniel Voilis, Joey Trickle, Max Davis, Chris Harvey, your race leader. The GOAT, Eli Wolf, and Reggie Fogelman. Now look at this. Gil Samaya to the inside of Daniel Voilis. Looking at second spot here. It's going to be a drag race to the start-finish line as we begin lap 7. Voilis is going to have the better of that, but Samaya may, may be able to maintain the inside line. Not that the GOAT has something to say about it. He's going to make it three wide. Heading into turn 1 here on lap 7. Ooh, doesn't quite have the pace to make it stick in the turn there. Definitely a move that you needed to back out of. Oh, that's the goat hard into the wall. That's definitely not going to help his uh, pace. He wants to catch these leaders. Yeah, Gil Samaya once again falling into fourth spot. Behind Patrick Smith. Any day now for Daniel Voiles to try to make a move for the race lead. Look at that. The GOAT has managed to match Patrick Smith's time. 55.001 seconds. Quite impressive indeed. However, he seems to uh, have created quite a bit of a gap between himself and the leaders in front and sixth place Steve Morgan behind. That's not exactly what he wants to do here. Patrick Smith to the inside. Obviously, he's having a look at Daniel Voilis, but he could just be opening himself up to losing third spot to Gil Samaya once again. Those two running side by side. That's definitely looking more like the case now. Heading into the tunnel turn, Gil Samaya has a nose in front. But Patrick Smith has the inside line. He loses it. Looks like he's going to file in behind. Once again, Samaya back into third here. Daniel Voil is stepping out. Here he goes. He blew his chances at the race win at Dover last time. Hopefully he doesn't have the same fuel issue once again this race. It's a race where um, apparently you have enough fuel for 40 laps. And then you need to add one can of fuel to make it the full 50. Seems like a bit of an overfueling according to the game. But whatever, I trust the decision. Daniel Voilis' uh, attempts at taking the lead have not worked out for him quite nicely here. It looks like he's about to lose position to both Samaya and Smith. Of course, that means that the GOAT is going to uh, be liable to pull him under pressure here. And the GOAT smelling blood in the water. But he's a GOAT, not a shark. Nor is he a bear. Or a hyena. Coyote. Any other sort of predatory animal you can think of. I don't know. I think we have a chance to have a... Very quick run through your order. The full one here. Harvey, Samaya, Smith, Voiles, and the Goat are your top five. Morgan, Trickle, Wolf, Cropley, and Fogelman, your top ten. So, Samit Uzkan has fallen out of the top ten. So, I believe that's... Hmm, let's see. One, two, three, four. Six Monte Carlos and four Tauruses in the... Uh, in the top 10 here. Joey Trickle having a look at Steve Morgan for 6th spot. Summit Uzkan and Max Davis along with Christian Bracken. 3 Dodge Intrepid cars. Run 11th, 12th, and 13th. Annie Thomas up in 14th right now. Rally Spurly 15th. First of the Pontiac Grand Prix at the top of the field. Got Eric Monaco, Mosane, Brittany White, Ash Shadowald, and presently Matthew Burnett rounding out your top 20. No Burnett's under pressure from Whitlock and PK here. There are Charlevoix, Wells, Langestine, Flobo, Jaina Fogelman, Johnson, Hicks, Salen, Evans, Tyke, Austin, Franco, Lego, Allen, Sato, Jenkins, Ebrahimian, and of course running last is Gerald Pepper, who has, uh, as you can see, fallen far behind the field here. Lapping 58.171 compared to Ebrahimian's 56.7. Sort of similar to your times up in the rest of the bottom 20, but you start to see 55s in the top 20. 
Now here comes Gil Samaya once again challenging for the race lead. I think that was a goat sliding through turn three once again, so he clearly has not perfected his technique through that turn. Gil Samaya has had to back out of his overtake attempt, and now Patrick Smith is going to go for it. He still runs side by side with Daniel Voilas. Gil Samaya is going to block him off through turn one here. Lighting looks a little bit funny. Must be very sunny here at Pocono. Seems that Patrick Smith's attempts have not worked out for him very well. Now Daniel Voles is going to come back at him. Yeah, it does seem that Patrick Smith's uh, overtake attempt has only managed to slow himself down, but uh, more importantly, the GOAT still hasn't had the opportunity to go for the overtake. Again, Daniel Voles is looking like the slowest out of these top four cars, obviously, but uh, the GOAT has not has not put in an honest attempt at an overtake thus far. Not that the GOAT's attempts at overtakes are ever truly honest. But uh, yeah, lap 13 here, 25% of the race distance. Chris Harvey continues to lead. Gil Samaya, Patrick Smith, Daniel Voiles, and the GOAT. Joey Trickle has managed to get himself up into sixth position here, but as you can see, the rest of the, uh, the lower five cars in the top ten Seem to have uh, caught each other, running together in the spit of a pack. Quite a gap between themselves and uh, the uh, cars outside the top ten, as you can see. Presently, we're seeing Fogelman battling with Colin Cropley here. Thinks that Fogelman is going to uh, occupy ninth spot without much problem here. Morgan definitely wants to come back at... Uh, Joey Trickle any moment. Now you can see the damage to uh, the GOAT's right side. Very typical. GOAT's always slamming into the wall when he's really pushing it here as he uh, no doubt feels the need to. Definitely going to be wearing out his tires quite significantly here. This track is not very easy on them, of course. Not very forgiving. Car setups have to account for uh, the three different turns, which are all significantly different from each other. Turn one is uh, a little bit sharp, but has a decently wide radius. Turn two is much smoother. Turn three is possibly the hardest breaking point in the uh, track here. As you can see, the car is dipping below 130 miles an hour, which uh, they theoretically shouldn't do anywhere else on track. Chris Harvey to start lap 15 now. Let's go we'll take a look at the uh, running order to the side. For your viewing pleasure. Seems like the goat's falling behind uh, Daniel Voilis here. Not the sort of uh, thing he was hoping for. A lot of times once again, don't think there's much else to report here. Goat's lap times. A bit inconsistent as you can see. Oh man, look how slow Gerald Pepper's car is. Well, I've been debating uh, putting Gerald Pepper into a new car. Taking him out of this dinky old piece of crap, the Aaron's Dream Machine, which uh, definitely is not my dream machine. I definitely do not endorse it. Honestly, despite the name, I don't think I've ever been into an Aaron's in my life. In fact, the only one I seem to remember in town was on the side of town that I used to live on, which I don't anymore. And basically, we moved from the east side to the west side of Las Vegas. And the only Aaron's that I actually remember was over on the east side. In fact, I believe that the only Rena Center I remember is also on the east side. I remember also there being a Rite Aid. I think there might be a Rite Aid somewhere else. Or maybe the Rite Aid is the one I saw in San Diego. I have a pretty terrible memory for that stuff. Apparently we missed Gil Samaya taking the race lead from Chris Harvey. Oops. Sorry. But uh, that, that overtake was probably just as boring as most of the ones we've seen thus far this race. Pretty textbook stuff. Gil Samaya back to the race lead. 
we were a little bit too busy talking about Gerald Pepper and missed out on the action um, as usual. Very typical stuff here. So now Fort Taurus once again has the edge in this battle at Pocono Raceway. If you hear a Discord sound just now, uh, that's mine, not yours. So no need to freak out. I hate it when it's a, it's a, it's a ping I mentioned from a server and not a direct message. So I'd much rather be receiving DMs right now, I don't know. It's, it's always a disappointment when it's just an announcement from one of those servers that you're hardly even active in. You thought, oh wow, somebody's messaging me. Most of the people that message me are uh, classmates asking about stuff from school. As you can see here, Patrick Smith drag racing with Chris Harvey. Harvey liable to fall back in the third spot. The GOAT's still watching the action with quite a gap between himself and Voilers and Trickle behind as well. Patrick Smith backing out of the overtake attempt. He's going to content himself with third for now, but uh, I think he suspects that Chris Harvey is going to be very easy pickings. He just needs to pick the right moment. Then was not the time, but Daniel Voilers is also going to be putting Patrick Smith under a lot of pressure, keeping him honest. Meanwhile, Gil Samaya hoping to break away from this pack, but I don't think he's going to find that very easy. These three, of course, have some decent drafting support at present. Hopefully they don't have to preoccupy themselves too much with the GOAT in this uh, here contest. The GOAT's tire squealing once again, definitely feeling the effects of tire wear at this point in the contest. Within 10 laps time, we'll be seeing the uh, race leaders coming onto, the, coming onto pit road. Uh, if there's not a caution within that time, then you're going to be seeing those green flag pit stops. Here comes Chris Harvey. A bit premature in his attempt to uh, make a move on the inside. He's uh, not going to persist with this attempt. As you can see, as you can see, Gerald Pepper is 41 seconds behind race leader Gil Samaya. So, indeed, any second now... Uh, Gerald Pepper's liable to be lapped by uh, the leaders. Turning on board with Gil Samaya here. Pepper isn't visible in the distance yet. But as we come out of turn three, I believe that you'll be able to see him, of course, over in this corner of the screen. Here he is. Very slight black speck. Going through turn one right now. He's gone. Yep. Already through turn one. Mm. I don't think that was actually very easy to see, but uh, hopefully you get my drift. Daniel Wallace to Patrick Smith's inside. There's some uh, really good, if semi-boring racing happening here at the front of the field. Not many overtake attempts, but uh, it's it's, uh, it's anyone's game, really. Anyone's guess as you can win this race. Actually, that was uh, much true in the first 19 laps of this contest. But of course, Gil Samaya trying to break free from the pack, as mentioned. Probably going to have a much more difficult time than he'd hope in his endeavor. Let's run very quickly through the order once again. Samaya, Harvey, Smith and Voilers. And that's the GOAT scraping the wall once again. It's going to be a, quite a bit of damage to repair to that car once he comes into the pits, which could very well slow him down significantly. Joey Trickle runs 6, Steve Morgan 7th, Elon Wolf 8th, Reggie Fogelman 9th, and Colin Crawley rounds out your top 10. So still not a dodge, or Pontiac for that matter. In the top 10 at present, Davis, Bracken, and Ozcon, the 3 dodge intrepids still run 11th, 12th, and 13th. Andy Thomas in with a shout of uh, challenging Ozcon for 13th there. Riley Spurley, first of the Pontiac Grand Prix in the field. Eric Monica, Brittany White, Matthew Burnett, Mosane, Ashley Schadevold still duking it out with Astasio PK for 20th. Reagan Whitlock, Anthony Charlebois, Bob and Flobo, Harry Langerstein, Mathis Wells, Amy Hicks, Lucas Evans, Jana Fogelman, Montero Salen. Again, things much more bunched up at the back of the field. There's Rocky Johnson, Lyle Austin, Ari Utaiki, Adalberto Franco, Agat Asato, Sabrina Pelego, Joe Allen, Leroy Jenkins, and Dylan Ebrahimian appear to have fallen behind the pack here. But uh, not quite as significantly, of course, as Gerald Pepper, who's just been left in the dust. As you can see, he's heading through turn one right now. Gil Samaya is doing the same. So once again, this could definitely be the monkey in the wrench for the uh, top five here. Possibly the sort of uh, help that the GOAT might need 
if he wants to catch Smith here, who's uh, just fallen back into fourth spot after being uh, overtaken by Daniel Voilis. Again, the GOAT has uh, done well to create quite a gap between himself and Trickle. He really demonstrates that he's pushing the car as much as he can, but again, those tires, those front tires must both be heavily worn at this point. Not heavily, but he's definitely going to be feeling the effects of the grip loss associated. You can sort of hear that the top four cars are driving a bit more slowly through turn three than before. They're also feeling tire wear effects, but perhaps driving much more smoothly and calmly than the GOAT, of course. Better at managing their tires. All need fuel, of course, so that's not the issue. Chris Harvey once again following very closely. There he goes. Down the long pond straight into the tunnel turn. Going once again for the race lead. Once again with support from Voles and Smith. Smith moves to the outside. Getting the draft of fellow Ford Taurus driver Gil Samaya. Through turn three now. On to the front straight. Samaya keeping himself in front. Outpacing Chris Harvey there without much issue. Samaya holds on to the lead for now. There's Pepper at the uh, bottom of the screen. Again, the top five is coming across him any second now. Harvey able to defend from Patrick Smith as well. Approaching the midpoint of this race. Yeah, each of these laps are almost a minute long. So this race is definitely going to take at least 50 minutes. Full video, definitely at least an hour. Standard fare. Once again, Chris Harvey down the long pond straight, making a move to the inside, trying to get that overtake done into the tunnel turn. Oh, he has a better shot at it this time. Samaya a little bit loose, exiting the turn there. Don't think Smith helped out very much with that. Now Smith to the inside, Volus to the outside. Volus back to the inside behind Smith. Chris Harvey once again in front, but Samaya once again outpacing him from the outside line here. Samaya's clearly got that engine dialed in perfectly. No problem defending from Chris Harvey. Samaya leads another lap. Now here's Gerald Pepper. Not going to get in the way of Gil Samaya. He's going to be no trouble for Samaya here. I think Harvey's going to be able to get past Smith and Voilis. Might have a little more difficulty. Certainly the GOAT is liable to. Believe it or not, the GOAT does not like Gerald Pepper very much. Who would have guessed? Of course, he thinks he's a degenerate. But, uh... Most Toho fans are. Strange. Toho fans really aren't weebs. They're just degenerates. Of course, I'm neither. I'm a good old Christian. It's happy days there, but I think that the effect that uh, the GOAT getting past Drill Pepper has had is that he's now liable to re-challenge once again. That's that's just a word soup there. The GOAT once again catching Daniel Voilis here. Of course, everybody in the top five, as mentioned multiple times already, Liable to be suffering from tire wear at this point. The computer cars, perhaps not as much, but the GOAT, most certainly. And as you can see, at this point, the GOAT has lost third gear. Makes that awful grating noise. He's into the wall. And, uh, of course, yeah, just gear three is just busted. Nothing he can do, unfortunately. Of course, the race is still drivable. It's still possible to finish. If gear four goes out, that's pretty much it. But uh, the idea here for the GOAT is to stay in fourth gear, however much slower it makes him. And uh, yeah, it was looking like closing the gap to Daniel Voilis just a moment ago. But uh, seems like he's lost that opportunity now. About to start lap 27 here any minute now. The leaders will be coming on to pit road. And that's definitely going to shake things up quite a bit, the battle on pit road. Chris Harvey into turn one, stepping to the inside, having to file behind Gil Samaya, of course, hugging the inside line. Heading out of turn one now, once again down the long pond straight. Chris Harvey could be having a look. 
in with a chance. Trying to use that British slang here. There he goes through the tunnel turn once again. Chris Harvey really needs to shove that car through the turns there if he has, if he wants to have a legitimate chance at taking the race lead from Gil Samaya here, whose pace is just impeccable so far. That's the goat catching Voilers once again. Here we go. Patrick Smith is going to stay out. Gil Samaya, Chris Harvey, Daniel Voilers, and the goat heading into the pits. Looks like Joey Trickle is going to follow. Pepper stays out. No big deal. Morgan, Wolf, and Fogelman. Reggie Fogelman, that is. Be heading in as well. Goat falling very closely behind Chris Harvey here. Down pit road. Obviously, Samaya and Harvey going to be the first into their pit stalls. And, uh, oh. Oh, dear. The goat is overshot. He's overshot his pit stall. Trying to get back in. Oh, he's going to lose many, many, many seconds here. Much time. Many disappointment. Very waste. Oh, dear. Samaya and Harvey already changing their left side tires. And remember, the goat has damage that he has to repair. Samaya comes off pit road ahead of Harvey. Voilers and Trickle ahead of Steve Morgan here. I think Wolf managed to beat Morgan to the line. The goat's going to come out behind Reggie Fogelman and in front of Colin Cropley. Just an absolutely woeful, woeful st st blah, 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 pit stop for the goat there. Patrick Smith comes into the pits now. But uh, yeah. As you can see, I think that Samaya, Harvey, Voiles, and Trickle are second, third, fourth, and fifth. Wolf, Morgan, Reggie Fogelman, the Goat, and Cropley. You know how well that's going to work out here. No, that's to go getting it to Reggie Fogelman here. Sending him into the wall. Spinning himself out. He didn't learn from Landon Castle, and the caution comes out here on lap 28. Reggie Fogelman with heavy damage to the rear end of his car, but... Uh, doesn't seem as if anything else has uh, come of that. Where's Patrick Smith? That's the important question here. Patrick Smith exiting pit road ahead of Gil Samaya, it seems. Going to have to make sure that this is correct here. So where's the goat? There's still some cars on pit road. I think they're going to have to uh, suffer the most. Thanks to the goat just looking uneasy. I'm taking out Reggie Fogel, let's... Uh, Go quickly to the replay here. Goat's still trying to warm up his tires. So let's ride on board here. Heading into the tunnel turn there. Just too hard into it. Not exactly what he was hoping for. Once again, Reg again Reggie Fogelman. Hard into the... Uh, outside wall, but fortunately Colin Cropley was able to get past him. Usually Colin Cropley would suffer the worst luck in human history end up being taken out. But uh, fortunately that has not happened here. And uh, wouldn't you know it, Reggie Fogelman still out in front of the goat. After that whole debacle. Patrick Smith has overtaken the pace car, so I think that Patrick Smith is being scored as your leader. But he just managed to get out in front of Gil Samaya and Chris Harvey. So I believe that Samaya runs second in this race, right? Seems that way. Oh, there's a massive kerfuffle taking place here. What the devil has gone on? Something wrong with Salman Uzkan piling into... Not piling... Steve Moore... Into Daniel Voiles' car. Oof, that's not good. And then Mo Zane in a separate incident there. Getting, uh, as we say, shit mixed. That was uh, unusual. Uh, anything else gone wrong here in the field? Oh, ooh, that's, oh, dude, that's a, ooh. Dylan Abrahamian running hard into Joe Allen's car. Pepper gets collected, and Pepper's out of the race. Oh, dear. That's not great. Lots of damage to Abrahamian, Allen, and Pepper's cars. Let's take a look at that once again. Maybe we're right on board with Gerald Pepper here, but, uh, mm, yeah. Ebrahimian speeding to, speeding into the end of the pacing line there. And, uh, Pepper did a pretty piss-poor job of trying to avoid that accident, so... He kind of merited his poor luck there. Harvey's being scored as fourth here. Yeah, 
It seems that Patrick Smith is your race leader. Summit Uskan runs second and Mo Zane third. So Uskan and Zane appear to have benefited greatly from the caution caused by the GOAT. Who moves to the inside line. Of course he's a lap down but the uh, leader is well behind the field now. So it's sort of good news for Patrick Smith. Not so for Chris Harvey who's uh, relegated to fourth. Of course he's going to be leading the field. Samaya got unlucky. He was leading this race. Most of the first part of this race, I think. Now he finds himself stuck in 29th. Unfortunate stuff there. Where are 30th and 31st? This makes it 30th is Lego. Um, and Sato is 32nd. That doesn't make sense. Uh, long story short, there's a scoring error that seems to get rectified immediately as we cross the line. But uh, yeah, apparently Smith, Uzkan, and Zane are your top three. But uh, Harvey, v Harvey, Voilus, Trickle, Wolf, Morgan, Cropley, and Thomas are actually up here in the top ten. And uh, you'll see the scoring error get rectified very quickly here. Look at that, the go trying to step out. As we restart here, there you go. As you can see, uh, Gil Samaya is up in fifth spot. Brittany White up to seventh. And the GOAT in ninth. So Chris Harvey leads the field, but again, he's running fourth in this race here. The GOAT immediately trying to make up some positions here. These are the people that he's been trying to catch for the majority of this race. And side by side with Joey Trickle heading down the long pond straight. Chris Harvey. Well ahead of Daniel Boyles and Gil Samaya, not by much. Here comes the GOAT, still duking it out with Trickle. Cropley and Wolf close behind. White, Burnett, Morgan, uh, Thomas and Davis also in the mix to two. Everham dodges there, that's the GOAT locking up the tires a bit, sliding through turn three there. A bit of contact with Eli Wolf, he gets sent into the wall. Eli Wolf nearly taken out. The goat nearly taking Eli Wolf out. Making some contact with his rear end here. And oh, oh dear. Steve Morgan goes around. Who could have guessed it? Caution out once again. Eli Wolf gets collected. Massive crash on the front stretch here. Lots of cars involved. Lots of, uh, ooh, lots of debris spilling out onto the front stretch. But actually, it doesn't look like there was much damage to any of the cars there. Uh oh, uh oh. That was dirty. I think we all recognize what that was. That's the GOAT causing another caution so that he and the other people out in front of this pack can get themselves back onto the lead lap. I mean, just look look at the GOAT here. He has no reason to turn to the inside other than, of course, to take out his uh, arch nemesis, Steve Morgan. Eli Wolf gets caught up in the mix. Innocent victim there, but look at all the cars piling into each other. That's most of the back of the field, including Patrick Smith, who gets caught up in the mess. Let's let's uh, let's go ahead and run on board with him. Let's see what happens here? You can see everything starts to go downhill from here. Bob and Flora get spun around. That's Lyle Austin being spun as well. Spurly, I think, up at the front, sideways. Yeah, there he is. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Smith managed to uh, didn't manage to suffer very very heavily there. Let's, let's have a look on board with Eric Monaco. See if we can get a bit of a better perspective. There he is, falling behind teammate Christian Black, and here's the GOAT. Again, just turning left on the front stretch. Bracken gets caught up by Morgan's car. Wolf gets spun sideways by Riley Spurley's car in that mess. Uh, but yeah, big to-do. On lap 30, 30 something, because I'm still rather confused as to who's where, where's who. Uh, let's go on board with Bob and Flobo, who wasn't particularly lucky during this little incident. Yeah, he gets up into Lucas Evans' car. Lyle Austin spins into him. Oh, this wasn't that bad for Bob and Flobo. But uh, st still a lot of jostling happening up here with Eric Monica's uh, car there. Definitely going to be some good news for Chris Harvey, but also for, I suppose, 
Poor Patrick Smith. Where's Mozane? Hopefully Mozane didn't get caught up in the mess. Of course, he and Simon Uzkan were running second and third. Well, third and second more specifically. So let's let's have a let's have a quick look. Because uh, of course this is a very good chance for Mozane to get a top ten. But uh, it seems as if his teammate taking out another uh, teammate. Using that word a little bit lightly. Has possibly wrecked his chances of doing so. So it seems that neither he or Simon has kind of suffered too much damage here. A little bit of contact with a few cars on the way, but uh, well, everything seems dope now. So once again, under caution. Just skip ahead here. I think here is good. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Patrick Smith right behind the pace car where he belongs. Still your race leader. Agata Sato, Leroy Jenkins, and Ari Taiki are lapped down. They occupy 35th through 37th spots here. Simon Uzkan and Mozane still run second and third. Good news for them. Here come Chris Harvey, Daniel Voiles, Gil Samaya, Joey Trickle, Colin Crompley, Matthew Burner, and Brittany White. Your top 10. Max Davidson, 11th. Stasio PK, 12th. Annie Thomas, 13th. The Goat, 14th. Ashley Schadevold, 15th. And Mathis Wells up at 16th here. Riley Spurley on pit road. Hopefully he'll be good to continue this race. Eric Monaco appears to be. Reggie Fogelman heads into the pits. Eli Wolf may do the same. Let's see. Yep, there he goes. Langestein going by. Yep, Riley Spurley has exited his pit stall. <laughs> Seems to be a good sign here that neither Fogelman nor Wolf have retired. Evans into his pit as well. Lyle Austin, Bob and Flobo. Christian Bracken, Rocky Johnson, Wolf exits. Flobo has retired from the race. Unfortunate news there. Uh, yeah. All thanks, of course, to the GOAT driving dirty. Appears that Rocky Johnson's just going to leave her uh, hood, <laughs> hood in her pit stall. She just appears right away. Good stuff there. Looks like Austin and Evans will be good to continue the race. As will Christian Bracken. All right, you tanky heads into the pits now. Still under caution. I don't think it's going to end anytime soon. Morgan's still in the race, so... Yeah. Hopefully things are well with R.U. Tanky as well. Here we go. We're going to restart here on lap 39, so it'll be 12 laps to go. 12 more minutes of this uh, massive banter race as usual. Well, the last race was a massive banter. NASCAR Amateur Armed Forces Family 400. Not too much of a mouthful. Here comes Lyle Austin. Evans, Bracken, Johnson, Reggie Fogelman, Wolf, Franco, Futlego, Hicks, Salon, Whitlock, Steve Morgan, Jana Fogelman, Charlebois, Spurley, Langestein, Monica, Wells, Shadevald, the Goat. So yeah, lots of the cars caught up in the incident. Back in the race. Ah, oh, yes, there's Taiki. I think we mentioned him already. Let's just skip ahead here. Hopefully, we have ourselves a nice, clean restart here. Just nice and clean. Good stuff. Hopefully, nothing, nothing goes awry. And we can have an interesting battle for the lead here at the end. Uskan and Zane could very well hold up. Harvey, Boyles, and Samaya, who historically were running in the top four of this race. Sato, Jenkins, and Taiki could also pro cause problems. This could just be Patrick Smith's Christmases coming at once here. Field stepping out once again. That's the goat spinning in the background! Oh no! No caution! Karma strikes the GOAT. What the hell was that? Heading down the front stretch here. Pay attention to Shadevald. GOAT trying to move to the inside. Gets turned across Shadevald's car. Barely misses the pit wall there. That could have been race ending for him. Watch this. Uh oh, watch Shadevald here. Yep, that's the GOAT. That's his error. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. I just barely miss. Wow. Just barely missing the... Uh... Yeah. Where's the rear chase? Come on. Rear chase. Wow, wow, wow. And that's just a goat hard into the wall. Now that's his hope at a good race result. Into the wall there. 
Doesn't seem to be too much damage to the car, but it's falling heavily behind the field. Lyle Austin in the pits once again, not sure what that's about. More importantly here, Smith has uh, managed to get himself in front of Sato. Jenkins is alongside fellow uh, his teammate, Samet Erskan, so hopefully uh, Jenkins will be a nice good teammate and let his teammate through. Tanky up in the mix with no hood. Chris Harvey running behind. Looks like Mo Zane's going to ship positions to both um, Harvey and Joey Trickle, possibly. But he's covering off Daniel Voles and Gil Samaya. That's definitely not going to improve their chances of going for the race win here. Samit Uzkan has been able to clear Leroy Jenkins, but unfortunately Jenkins has let Harvey, Harvey through the, the two cars who were holding back the GOAT at uh, Rockingham many races ago, back at the second race of the season a month ago. Now Jenkins falling behind. He lets Harvey trickle and Cropley through. Samaya's blocked in at the back there. That's his chances of winning this race over, surely. Much of the same with Daniel Voiles. Mo Zane just continuing to fall behind, trying desperately to keep himself in the top 10, get a good finish today, but it just doesn't seem likely. Of course, a lot of these cars are a lap down. It's a bit difficult to judge who's where and where's who, but well, PK running in 13th. Yeah, certainly he's managed to clear a lot of the field and get himself up into the top 10, surely. Patrick Smith appears to be running away with it with 10 laps to go. Samit Uzkan looking like easy prey for Chris Harvey. Down the front stretch and into turn one. Uzkan offering little resistance, clearly just running much more slowly. It's certainly that uh, damage to his rear bumper affecting the aerodynamics of the car. Of course, Joey Trickle with the Jasper Motorsports engine is just going to be blitzing past him without much resistance either. Colin Cropley, Matthew Burnett could be doing much the same. Decent day overall for uh, Roush Racing so far. Of course, Ari Taiki a bit unlucky running in the back there, but, well, Foot Lego's probably not having the best of times either. Flobo's retired, of course, so actually it's more of a up and down day for Roush Racing. Lyle Austin into the pits once again. There's clearly a persistent problem with that car. And the GOAT. Um, damned to just go on a Sunday drive. And it looks like 32nd place is going to be his finishing position. Assuming that he doesn't blow the engine. Chris Harvey runs second. Joey Trickle third. Matthew Burnett, I believe, up into fourth now. Fighting with Cropley, PK, Oskan, and Monaco. Max Davis up into ninth. Mathis Well Mathis Wells, that's his name, right? Yeah. Sometimes I, I, I often wonder if I'm getting his name wrong. He runs in tenth. Annie Thomas eleventh. Daniel Wallace twelfth. Uh, was it Brittany White up here somewhere? Brittany White's fallen into twenty-fifth spot here, but otherwise, looking like a better day for DEI. Mosane falls from third to thirteenth. Unlucky there. Gil Samaya of a much faster car. Seems quite liable to speed past him without resistance. Jana Fogelman up in the mix with uh, Riley Spurley, Sabrina Flutlega, Reagan Whitlock, Harry Langestein, Ashley Schadevald, Steve Morgan. Seems that Schadevald currently rounds out your top 20. Behind her once again, Morgan, Bracken, Wolf, Fogelman, Reggie Fogelman, Charbois, Evans, Hicks, yeah, White, Salen, Johnson, and Franco. And then of course the GOAT. I lost it into the pits once again. Lots of pace shown by Chris Harvey here. Clearing fellow Chevy driver Agata Sato. Joey Trickle following closely behind. Eight laps to go for this mix, for this field. Here comes Chris Harvey. Maybe Patrick Smith's uh, promotion to first place was more of a curse than a blessing. Chris Harvey holding on to the inside line. Down the front stretch here. Going to be seven laps to go once we cross the line. Smith beats him to it. Leads another lap. But Harvey's showing more pace. Neck and neck heading into turn one. Joey Trickle trying to clear Sato in the background. Smith keeping a nose in front. Chris Harvey once again down that long pond straight. Going to go for the move into the tunnel turn.
little side by side these two. This is great action happening right here. I think. Maybe. I think this is what qualifies as great racing in the era of extremely boring racing uh, that we've been subjected to for the past uh, cranky 15 years in motorsport. Harvey beats Smith to the line, leads a lap once again. He's back into the lead for now. Joey Trickle falling very closely behind, trying to make a move on the inside. Patrick Smith fouls in behind Harvey. Here comes Joey Trickle. Too soon to celebrate for Chris Harvey. Trickle backs out of the move, but he'll be coming back at Harvey surely. That's right, we're going to run through your running order here. Now Smith under pressure from Joey Trickle. Matthew Burnett, Colin Crompley falling closely in the distance. Monaco and PK there. Running 6th and 7th. Max Davis up into 8th, I believe. Seems correct to me. Sorry, that's me texting my dad here. Okay. So, I guess Sato's not going to cause too much problems for the top of the field anymore. Wait, that was, okay, that was pretty obvious already. Uh, but five laps to go here, about to close into four. Harvey continues to lead the race. Patrick Smith runs second, Joey Trickle third. Matthew Burnett fourth, Colin Cropley fifth. Looking at a good result today. Eric Monaco sixth, Stasia PK seventh, Max Davis eighth, Annie Thomas ninth, and Samet Uzkan. Who's Khan? Can. Can he do it? Rounding out your top 10, Daniel Bowles runs 11th. Gil Samaya down to 12th from the race lead earlier on. Of course, he started on pole as well, so he's not going to be happy with this result. Mathis Wells, yeah, jostling with him for uh, second, 12th place there. Jana Fogelman trying to get herself into the action, making a three wide through turn one. Runs in 14th. Ashley Schadewald has 15th, Lego 16th, Zane down to 17th from 3rd again. I emphasize that. Whitlock 18th, and uh, Langostine and Wolf digging it out for 19th and 20th. Morgan 21st, Bracket 22nd, Spurley 23rd, Hicks 24th, Reggie Fogelman down to 25th, unfortunately. Charlebois 26th, then Evans, Tykes lap down, White, Salen, Johnson, Franco, and uh, yeah, the GOAT. Lyle Austin in the pits once again. Three laps to go here. Give me a second, just text me. Okay. Very polarizing issues here, discussing English soccer as usual. Of course, as the English call it football. I think that's uh, been well established for many years here. We get it. American football is much more popular here than what the rest of the world calls football. Football, football, football. People say that we're the only ones who call soccer soccer, but the Japanese also call soccer soccer. Actually, actually they also call it football. Because, of course, the... Uh, well, actually, actually, more specifically, you see, the Japanese Football Association is actually called the Japanese Soccer Association in Japanese. So how about that? How about that? Two to go here. Joey Trickle, once again, having to duke it out with Patrick Smith. Four Ford Tauruses in the top five here. But uh, none of them in the race lead. Chris Harvey, the Chevy Monte Carlo. Rounds turn three now. He's about to start the final lap. White flag is going to be out any moment here. 
Here we go. It's the final lap. Chris Harvey has one more lap uh, to, uh, you know, exist. Drive. Not a nice scarf for winter, which is almost over. Definitely not a time to be texting and driving, let alone drinking. Don't drink and drive, folks. Joey Trickle has one more chance to uh, snatch the race lead away from Chris Harvey. Here he goes to the inside through the tunnel turn. Not enough space. Trickle has to back out of that one. One more shot here. It's a long run after turn three. He has to nail it. But if Harvey does the same, it's going to be all for naught. Fantastic drive from Chris Harvey today. He wins the Pocono 500. What a result. What a race. Lots of lead changes. Lots of action up in the front. That was excellent. That was really good stuff. Of course, some of you might think it was just extremely boring, but I mean, I can't, can't really help that very much. And the GOAT is coming home in 32nd spot here. Not the result he wanted. Could have very well won this race. He doesn't DNF, but there he goes, finishing at the back of the field. He's surely going to be bitterly disappointed with that result here. Good stuff for Chris Harvey. Good stuff for Joey Trickle. Patrick Smith always running at the top of the field. Matthew Burnett definitely pleased with this result, no doubt. Colin Cropley managed to get his first top 10 at Dover last time. And he's just scored his first top 5 today. So slowly but surely, he's coming back from his bitter spat of bad luck in the uh, first third of the season. Here's to more good results. Voil is just managing to take the last top 10 spot there. He's definitely going to be disappointed with his uh, performance today. He could have been a chance of uh, winning this race. And, well, Gil Samaya is definitely going to be much more disappointed. No doubt about that. Harvey, Whitlock, Jenkins, and Morgan taking an extra lap around the track. Not sure what that's about, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take a look at your official standings here. Chris Harvey wins the race today and just barely manages to get the extra five points for most laps led. Two laps more than Patrick Smith and uh, five more than Samaya. Yeah, only... Okay, there weren't that many lead changes, but there were definitely many attempts to uh, change the lead, no doubt. Only three drivers, but uh, yeah. Who's going to argue that that wasn't an impressive race there? Once again, Harvey wins the race, takes home ten extra points. Joey Trickle, Patrick Smith, Matthew Burnett, Colin Cropley, Eric Monaco, Stasio PK, Annie Thomas, Max Davis, and Daniel Voiles round out your top ten. Trickle and Smith uh, scoring an equal amount of points because Trickle, uh, Trickle finished ahead of Smith, but led no laps today. Patrick Smith, meanwhile, leading at least one. Very good. Samaya, Ozkan, Jana Fogelman, Shanavald, Mathis Wells, Footlego, Whitlock, Wolf Langestein, and Steve Morgan. Last of the uh, top 20 there. Riley Spurley, Reggie Fogelman, Christian Bragg, and Mo Zane, Amy Hicks, Anthony Charlebaugh, Lucas Evans, Brittany White, Montero, Salen, Rocky Johnson, Adelbert Franco, and the GOAT. Last of the lead lap finishers today. Sato Jenkins and Taiki came home one lap down today. Austin three laps down. Flobo retired after the uh, incident on lap um, 38 or so. And of course, Ebrahimi and Allen and Pepper uh, both crashed out uh, during the caution that came after lap 27, 28, something like that. Now to your point standings here. Patrick Smith continues to lead the table. Eric Monaco second. Sawit Uzkan third. Joey Trickle up into fourth. Excellent stuff there. Christian Bracken fifth. Gil Samaya sixth. Daniel Voila 7th, Ari Tagi 8th, Eli Wolf and Estacio PK still in the top 10 there. Chris Harvey jumps up to 11th today. Matthew Byrne at 12th, Reggie Fogelman 13th, Riley Spurley 14th, The Goat 15th, Mathis Wells 16th, Max Davis, Steve Morgan 17th and 18th, and Jana Fogelman, Bob and Flobo rounding out your top 20. Flobo with 3 DNFs this season, that's unfortunate. Shot of all dear Daytona 500 winner 21st. Then Shawbaugh, Thomas, Salonfoot, Lego, Santos, Zane, Ibrahimian, Cropley up at the 29th. Very good. Very good stuff there. Jenkins, Langestine, Austin, Hicks, Evans, Whitlock, 
Franco Allen, Johnson White, and last in the standings, Gerald Pepper. No surprise there. So, another new race winner this season, Chris Harvey. Good stuff there. Patrick Smith still has the uh, most top fives and the most top tens. Joey Trickle up there alongside. Monaco, Uzcon, and Boylis. All the top ten with some very nice consistent results there. See a bit of a pattern here. Bracket PK Smy, Eli Wolf have at least six. They're up in the top ten. Burnett, Davis, Morgan. Uh, more mixed results, and of course, Davis and Morgan with two fewer races. Still in the top 20 with their six top tens. That's good stuff there. Matthew Burnett continues to lead the uh, laps completed uh, contest. 1,154 out of 1,166. Tied for second are Jana Fogelman and Montero Salon. Salon with only one DNF. Take a look once again at your drivers who have managed to complete every race this season. Burnett, Davis, Fogelman, and Sato. Cool. Most laps led. Still the GOAT. Patrick Smith uh, far behind, but leading everyone else with 137. Samaya and Trickle, 106 and 105. Daniel Boyles with 93. And you can see a couple of drivers here who have only led a handful of laps. Wolf. Wolf, uh, of course, at Dover. Uh, yeah, only led about four laps, I believe. But of course, he led the last lap and took home the race win. Very good stuff. Flobo Jenkins, Fogelman, Reggie Fogelman, Johnson Wells, Steve Morgan, Evans, Pepper. Yeah, Pepper led two laps at some point. Imagine that. Shadowvault only led one lap this season, and it was the final lap of the Daytona 500. That's where that win comes from. Zane, Hicks, and Whitlock also have one one lap led apiece. Again, it seems like the Chip Ganassi cars just have been underperforming this season. No laps led for, uh, wow. Wow. That's 19 drivers, huh? Including Martini and McGregor, of course. But, uh, yeah. A lot of work to do for these guys here. So, next race, the Sirius Satellite Radio 5 400, 400 at Michigan. Oh, imagine if this were a 500-mile race. That'd be hell. Well, it's been Hannah Food. It's been a time and a half in honor. And I'll see you in the next video.